all right what is up everybody welcome i am back with another video uh this is probably gonna be a quick one uh just some notes on their stuff and uh, education uh before we continue with the ai stuff and i because i accidentally did some stuff in the last video that i had to disable and i want to kind of show you before i forget uh but as you know if you follow the series we have this the attack and that changes the rotation of the character if we can attack in our input direction and there's probably going to be plenty of times that you actually want to change the rotation of your character manually just with inputs like this and uh, what we could do for this system just to actually use unreal's replication is we could just disable root motion during like the first 0 0.2 seconds of the animation or whatever and that would use this rotation so that would require no extra thing to think about for actual rotation because that's already default uh, but what you can see here is if If you go into editor preferences, you have some settings where you can emit lag. Uh, and if we do this and set it to average, this is gonna look really cool. See, it's stuttering, it's like clipping, it doesn't look uh, So, kind of want to mitigate these issues because this is because we're setting with a list. Uh, kind of you see even if we don't set the rotation if we just attack the uh, snapping a lot smooth uh, so there are some things we can do here to mitigate this a little bit uh, but I want to start by saying that this probably is a lot of people out uh, because this says average it's like okay that's the average uh, so this looks really horrible and obviously this is not going to work in like a real environment in that case but I want to clear about this you need to test this yourself like on an actual network in a package game with your friends that are 50 kilometers away or whatever so that you can actually see that it works. Uh, further away, the less good it will. Be. This average, like I, I want to be clear with this. Like I have tested lots of this stuff with people in other countries, and I, it's easily not as bad in an actually environment as even this average setting. So I think these settings are very exaggerated somehow. Like if I set this to bad, it's gonna but I've never ever experienced this even in, like I've had we tested with Sweden to Thailand it's it, not even that has been this bad so it's it's very exaggerated so don't freak out of those settings test yourself and see what works and not but there are some things we can do so let's let's go to set it back to average uh, so what we can do here is if we do this replicated play montage we can do like this we can add a let's locally control check here so this means that the montage will always play instantly the client that's execution executing this function right so there's not going to be any lag because that's going to be on the side in that case. Once again, we're making a co op game, not massive multiplayer. And to the server, play montage, and this is why the issues in the last video. But from here, if we are not local, 
controlled, we're gonna multicast because the client that are executing this animation, this replicated montage function, doesn't actually need to send it to the server to then multicast it back to itself. It's just unnecessary. So this is probably a better way to do animation because what you're gonna see now is that see it's way smoother on the client that is actually clicked. Bad. So this is bad. It's still perfect. That's mostly the rotation now because we can see Oh you can see the animation itself is way smoother. You can see on the client that looks at it, it also doesn't look too hard. So that's one way to mitigate this issues a little bit at least. Perfect. But as I said, uh, for the rotation, this is about the limit of what we can do. Uh, there are a bunch of custom movement components out there uh, that handle rotation a bit better. Uh, there's also a plugin called Smooth Sync that I highly recommend. Uh, that takes over the replicated and makes it so that it replicates the set actor location and stuff. So there are some alternate ways that you could use and I would recommend you to use if you're doing a multiplayer game. So Smooth Sync definitely. And there is also the custom movement component if you want to really into a better system. That's not really what this series is about. We're going to make the best of it uh, in Blueprints. It's doable in Blueprints as well. It, I feel like a lot of people are reacting with this. It's, if you lead, look at forums and stuff, it looks like it's completely impossible to make. Blueprints, it's not. I tested it, it works. Uh, it's just that it works slightly worse if you use contents, basically. But we also have this uh, fit character. Uh, we could do the same thing here. You see, it's locally. It's, I already. So from the multi-case cast, it's false. <coughs> uh, same thing here. It's locally controlled. Should probably make a dedicated set rotation function. Let's do that actually. Let's do that. Perhaps this to a function. Oh, sorry, I played around with CP for you, so that's why. Uh, is this still a function? Just for the blueprint one. <coughs> uh, don't need this. Replicated set character partition. So this locally world. Uh, 
has authority. We have authority, we're gonna do the multi. Still notes. Cast. New rotation. And so we're going to server one. And if it's this, yeah, and in the multi one, it's locally called. So now we can remove this. We can remove this. We can remove this. Let's do this. Cleaner. Not sure if I showed the difference between videos, but this is this rotation timeline is always set to one. And then we have alert so that we can actually input. We can change this dynamically like this timeline is playing. Should work better. So this is always going to be true, this one, I guess, but yeah, let's do this anyway. You can see it's pretty smooth, even with bad for connection now. That's just some way to some ways to make it a little bit better. It's a bad connection for the hitting now instead, but yeah, let's just try this. So yeah. Just a quick video on that, so that in case I accidentally show that in some video, so that you caught up to how I have my project. Sometimes I do tiny stuff in between videos, testing, and that's it. We're gonna do that. So that's it for this one. In the next one, we will continue uh, NPC stuff. Coolio, see you in the next one.